next option we are going to see about is that we have seen all the areas in the system configuration. The next area we are going to talk about is how do I manage access control to my Jenkins, right? When I create a Jenkins, I cannot give administrator access to everyone, right? The developer should not have access to modify a job or something like that, right? So how I'm going to do that? So for that, let us first create a read-only user, okay? Then we will play around with the user. How do I control the access to the user? So go to Jenkins, manage Jenkins and click on manage user and click on create user. Let me create a user called read. Okay. And the password also I'm going to give it as a read. Everything as a read. User. Okay. Let me create the user. So now my Jenkins is having two user, the admin user, which I used and another user called read. Okay. So once the user is created, let's open a new incognito window in that if I try to log in as the read user, okay. so the username is read, the username is read. This guy have all the options there, right? Because the authorization strategy, whatever I'm using in my Jenkins is the logged in user can do anything, but that will not be the ideal scenario. We will control the access for the read user. Dashboard, manage Jenkins, configure global security. So I can select matrix based security. There I can remove the existing anonymous user and the authenticated user. I am just removing the old ones. And there I am going to add the user called admin right for the admin user okay the username is admin or if you have a different username use that he should have the overall administrator privilege because this guy will inherit the all the privilege and next is let me add one more user. The other user is called read. Okay. There, let me give him an overall read privilege only and see what is happening. So we'll come back to that. Okay, what is this uh, like topic level? What kind of access he can have? We'll come back to that. So first give him an overall read privilege and click on apply. And come to the other window where in the incognito mode I have added as the user. If you see that, you don't see any of the job, right? Nothing is visible to him. So because you just have a overall read privilege, you can just check what is this build history, nothing. You will not be able to see anything because I have given him only the overall read privilege. Okay. So yeah. now, let us give him some additional access. Okay, so basically the access where being, access has been divided into multiple areas. So whether I want the user should have access to credentials, I can give him individual access. To have access, I can do that or for a view, I can give him some access or like for the lockable resources, I can give him access. Okay. Let us play around with the job access. Okay. So I want to him have a read access for the jobs. So under the job, I am providing him the read access. Let me apply this and let's come back and refresh and see. You'll be able to see all the jobs. 
and if you select the job you will not be you'll be able to see the build logs everything right you'll be able to see the build logs okay uh, in the same way you will be able to download the archived files and other stuffs the declare a pipeline that is the one so you'll be allowed to download the jar file and all those so basically he's having a read only access to all the jobs but he will not be allowed to build the jobs right so this is what the read privilege on the particular job you can do so next let him let me give him the build privilege so in the job i'm giving him a build privilege go back and see here now he will have option to build now but he will not be able to change the permission so for a support team this will be a typical thing for i want the user to uh, like whenever needed he can just build the job so those kind of access you can provide so he has a read only access and he can provide a build you can you can build the job and you can you can you view that result that's it but you will not be able to make any changes to the configuration okay and if you see that manage admin option is totally not visible to the user because he is a read only user i'm not giving him any administration access okay in the same way i can also provide in the configure option i'm just giving him the configure removing the build access and if i save this if i refresh the page of the other user so you will not have a option to build it but he will have a option to change things it is allowed to modify the pipeline job or anything but he will never have access to build it you see that the run icon is gone and he will not be allowed to create any new things or anything so those kind of things so like this with this individual option okay global security so we can provide them individual things okay so i can just provide them to delete a job or create a job okay create is like he will be allowed only to create and configure he will not be allowed to execute a job so those kind of things you can do it okay but if i give him like a build option he will be able to build the job right so like that you can also control the access to the agents whether he is allowed to create agents delete agents build agents all those things okay and the credentials also whether he will be able to create new update so those kind of things you can just do okay. so this is how you can control the authorization so i'm just going to give him a what am i giving a create access to build configure and read so then you can just see that so it will have a option to build with parameter he can option to configure okay but he will not be able to create new jobs existing jobs you can just build it and he can change that okay so like this you will be able to create multiple things yep so so if you see this even i am restricting the user okay i need to give him a basic read privilege to list all the jobs if i do that way he is seeing all the jobs which are available in my jenkins which may not be the right thing when i am managing multiple teams right on an organization i have one one jenkins where i need to control my this application team should not view the uh, jobs of the other applications right i need to restrict them based on the application and also here whenever a user is getting added i need to ma individually manage the user access right like for example if you see this like whenever for individual users i need to provide that okay 
I don't have a concept called group based thing where I can create a group and I can allocate the group and you will inherit the permission. Nothing. Whenever a user is added, I need to come and um, for that user, I need to come and modify this. It's going to be a bit tedious. So that is where there is one more access control option or plugin available that is called role based access control where I can create a role. In the role level, I can restrict the privilege. Okay. And once the role is assigned to the user, we will inherit that. Okay. There I will also restrict them based on the job. Okay. So let's see that how to do that. So for that, I may need a plugin. So the plugin name is role based access control. So let's install the plugin. Option is role based authorization strategy. So this is the plugin. Let us install this. Mind the plugin installation is completed. So let me know once it was completed. So now, if you go to manage Jenkins, you can see. Okay. So let me go to my configure global security you will see a additional option called role based strategy previously it was not there once i install the plugin i see this select that so just select the option role based strategy and click on save and now you can see one additional option got added. It's called manage and assign rules. So next, let us manage and assign rules. Okay. So first I'm going to create a role. Okay. In the roles, there are two kinds of roles available. Okay. One is called as the global role and another one is called as the item role. Okay. So the global role is something like once they logged in, what is the global level configuration they need to get? Item level is job level their access is controlled. Okay, let's see the example. So first, let me, there is an existing global role created where admin user can do everything. Let me add a global role called read. There, let me just give them a overall read privilege. Okay, so I'm creating a global role called read because the admin role is already there. So I'm just creating a read privilege. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an item role. Basically, what I wanted is I want this user should have access only to the jobs which are starting with first. You see like uh, we have lots of jobs, right? So this is where the job naming convention is coming into picture, right? You can say if this is the application, I want the job should be started with only this particular application name. Like I can say uh, there is a HR application, HR underscore environment. So I can define my own naming, naming convention. So there I can create it. So let's say, I want to, uh, uh, for this user, okay, I want only, you should have access to, you should see only the jobs which are starting with first. So how many jobs I have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So for that, I'm going to create an item role. So that is what item role is about. So let me call the item role as FIRST. And in the pattern, I can provide something like this, like it will be rst dot star yeah. so anything starts with first i'm going to define it like first dot star so this is the pattern the role name is first and the pattern name is first dot star so for this 
I want this user should have a read privilege and build privilege. Let's say he should have access only to the uh, read and build the job. So first I have created an overall read privilege with the read role and in the item role, I'm just giving a pattern saying that all the jobs which are starting with first, he should have a read privilege and build privilege. So let me save this. So I have created two roles, one global role and one item role. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this role to the user. Okay. First, let me add the for the read only user. Let me add him a read privilege. Read uh, sorry, read role that is the global role. In the item role, let me add the read user and I want him to have access to the first item rule, item rule name first. So in the previous step, I have added the role. Now I'm assigning the role to the user. Okay. So let me save this. And if I come back as the read user and refresh the page, you can see this guy is listed only with the jobs which are starting at first and that he has access to build because I haven't given him the configure access. He can just build the jobs which are starting with first. So this is how you can create multiple roles and assign the roles to the user in this section. So for this, you have to define a naming strategy for your jobs.